Hello again, your extraordinary subscribers. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hemingway Land YouTube channel. I will confess that before I do these videos, I try to come up with some interesting topic to discuss. And even when I discuss topics, I fear many of them are not very interesting. Whatever the case, this week I don't have much to talk or complain about. I've got a title company story, but I don't want to bore you guys with a title company story every week. And by the way, a title company story is always a story of gross incompetence, negligence, indifference, or apathy. Just so you know. Let me just bottom line that one for you. Uh, we did have another one this past week. This is a title company that's cost us about $76,000 in the past five months because they can't close a deal because they keep annoying the buyers to such an extent that the buyers just say, never mind, I want to purchase the property, but I don't want to deal with this. And they walk away, they wash their hands of it, and they walk away. Again, I won't say which title company, but you could probably figure it out from the reemergence of certain properties on the website. Whatever the case, not going to talk about that. What I am going to talk about, guys, a little sneak preview, a little sneak peek of a property coming up on the website at the end of the month. And perhaps you're saying, hey, Hemingway, you've never done this before. Why are you going to do this? Well, again, in the absence of anything else to talk about, I figured this is a good idea, number one. But number two, when I first agreed to buy this property, whatever it was, two, three months ago, I, um, I thought, oh, man, this property looks great on paper. This looks, oh, this has got all these great, you know, just all the things that you want in a property, this property had. And then we got the photos back last week, and it turns out it's even better in real life. Oh, my God. So I'm very excited about this. I think you guys will be as well. I'm not going to tell you where this is. You'll probably be able to figure it out from the photos. But uh, this is a good one. I think you'll agree. So first off, guys, a little sneak preview. Ba-boom. The property is out by a lake. It is not the shoreline of the lake, okay, so don't write me emails asking me that. People a lot of times ask that, and it's like, no, read the listing. No, it's not the shoreline of the lake. Anyway, property's out here by this beautiful picturesque lake in this uh, really gorgeous region of some state somewhere, won't say where, number one. Number two, the property sits in a forested area very close by, uh, and of course, everybody likes these forested areas. People always call asking for properties with more, not fewer trees. I don't understand that. Maybe that's why I live in the desert. I don't know, but people like trees, and this property's got a lot of them, a lot of vegetation on this one and actually some good roads as you can see here running through the region which is always kind of a surprise when you get into these forested lots additionally guys this one has got uh, kind of an interesting topography to it it's got some flat areas it's got kind of an overall hilly slope to it but some nice flat areas to camp to park so on and so forth uh, some good cutout regions as well you can see there's some trails going through the property and just a really pretty region additionally some kind of rock outcroppings on the I believe northern end of the property so on and so forth the big selling point of this property and the thing that we have only had once before in inventory is this next photo coming up Ba-boom! Yes, guys, there is a cabin on the property. A cabin. And I will just, you know, in this video, I'm only going to show you just this one picture of the cabin. We've got roughly 7 million photos of the interior and exterior of the cabin. I was surprised because this thing's been there for a while. It seems to have some pretty good bones, people. Good bones, okay? But more to the point, the real kind of gem about this property is that these are the views that you see from the porch of the cabin as you exit the cabin looking out over the property. Ba-boom! Look at this. The uh, cabin is up at the tippy top of the property, and uh, you've got these great sort of mountain views over here. So I really like this one. I think you guys will too. This will be up on the website later on in the month. If you have not subscribed to the channel, guys, here we go. Shameless plug. Subscribe now to be alerted to when this fantastic property goes live. And of course, it will be priced at not cheap. Not cheap, guys, because there's a, there's a free cabin on the property. Anyway, with all that said, people, uh, special thanks to all those amazing people who bought land from us in the last seven days? Starting off in the state of New Mexico, guys, Christine and Jolene, those names rhyme, I just realized that. Christine and Jolene bought some land from us in Cibola County. So special thanks to Christine and Jolene. Additionally, guys, in nearby Valencia County, Yvonne Corbin and returning customer Robin bought some land from us out there. And up in the northwest corner of the state, Dwayne, the Carina of San Juan County, purchased some property, the new property, the one we listed just last week, in San Juan County, out there by the Navajo Marina. Of course, we'll be closing uh, through title and escrow with Dwayne. Additionally, guys, in the state of Arizona, sold not one, nay, two properties to Tyrell in Yavapai County. So special thanks to all those amazing buyers. With all that said, guys, going live on the website this week, as you can see, we got the Arizona State flag queued up. Yes, guys, we are back to the Grand Canyon State with some new properties in a new county, namely, ba-boom, 
Apache County. Yes, people, we are in Apache County for the very first time with some new properties located just outside the town of Concho. We've got two one-acre lots priced at $7,000 and a third property, five acres, priced at $18,000. Before I get into some property-specific details, I will tell you guys that I have been reluctant for some time to purchase land in Apache County. I avoided Arizona for a little while, uh, a couple years, as you guys know, because what I see a lot of in Arizona is uh, land that has been over subdivided. We will just say that at a certain point, you know, there was this kind of thing in New Mexico, and then the state legislature stepped in and said, knock it off, developers, you can't continue to do this. Because if we take it to its logical extent, if you guys keep buying 10,000 acres of land and chopping them up into 40,000 quarter acre parcels, we're not going to have enough water if all these properties get developed. That never happened in Arizona at least not to my knowledge. It seems to me like anybody with a handshake and a smile can subdivide land out here. So what you encounter in Apache County and neighboring Navajo County, Mojave County, Cochise County, etc., is that there's a lot of what I consider to be garbage land, which is somebody just chopped up all this property and now you've got, whatever, 40,000 one-acre parcels that have no legal access, no utilities, they're in the middle of nowhere, the roads haven't been touched in years, uh, the water table, if it exists, is fairly inaccessible, so theoretically you can develop it, practically speaking, why would you want to? And I see a lot of people who do what we do, who sell land out here for super cheap prices, and I think, well, there's a reason it's cheap. Anyway, the point being, guys, is that uh, uh, as the business has expanded, I decided to reevaluate Apache County and see if I could find anything out here that was close to a town, had some kind of attraction nearby, had utilities, so on and so forth. And finally, this brings me to the point, which is that I stumbled upon the Concho Valley subdivision located out here just outside the town of Concho. So let me bring this one up on a map, guys. So this is the Concho Valley subdivision right here, sitting just outside the sort of blink and you'll miss a town of Concho. Should be noted, guys, this is roughly about 20 minutes south-southwest of St. John's over here, which is the county seat of Apache County. So more stores, more groceries, convenience stores, things like that for you over there. Additionally, these properties sit about 30 minutes north-northeast of Sholo. Sholo is a town with a population of about 12,000, so you'll find your big box stores out there, fast food restaurants, so on and so forth. Whatever the case, this subdivision, this Concho Valley subdivision I'm going to talk about right now, it's kind of a very large, sprawling subdivision, it occupies all this space that you see right here. And uh, what kind of surprised me with this one is that unlike a lot of subdivisions, it's not just, you know, 10,000 one-acre parcels that are interchangeable. There's actually a good diversity, uh, not only in the size and shape of a lot of these properties, but in their proximity to utilities, to development, road conditions, so on and so forth. So each of the three we're listing this week are actually a little bit, actually kind of considerably different from one another. So I'm going to walk you through all of them right now. First off, guys, do want to point out, this is what the Concho Lake looks by in close proximity to all of these. Of course, this is a good lake for some boating, fishing, general relaxation. This is not necessarily the type of lake that you go jet skiing on, but it's a nice little attraction that's just sort of in the backyard of really all of these properties. So with all that said, people, the first property, of course, is this large five-acre parcel that we've got located out here along Road 5126. That's as creative as the names of the roads get, but good road frontage at the property, and as you can see, power at the lot line out here. Additionally, some nice developed home sites in this region. It should be noted that there is county zoning out here, some covenants and restrictions, nothing too strict, pretty easy. Uh, I will tell you that RV and camping is permissible for up to 90 days, so basically the entire summer, or of course, with a building permit, it should be noted this property also has fencing along its northern boundary and its western boundary. Uh, the eastern one is the only one that's not covered. Of course, the southern boundary is the one with the road. And just to give you a sense of what the community is like out here, if we go to the drone photos, guys, you can see that some nice developed home sites in close proximity to these, some family farms, some ranches, ranchettes, if you will out here very close to this one. But this is a good chunk of land in a pretty nice region, pretty close to the Concho Lake. The next property, guys, that we're going to talk about sits very, very close to the Concho Lake. As you can see, this is the lake right here, and the subject property sits basically right across the street. And if we zoom in on the map, you're going to see that there's actually um, these lots right here are zoned commercially. This property over here is zoned residential, but it sits right behind the commercial area. We're going to use quotes for that, guys. We're going to call it a commercial area. There's a family dollar, and there's a storage facility, okay, which we'll show you pictures of, I'm sure. Post office right across the street. But the point is the property sits right over here. There's a little more development to the south of this property. But as you can see, some developed home sites very close by. Whatever the case, when we go to the photo gallery, guys, you can see there's some very well-maintained roads out here. Paved roads, this property, because it is so close to the highway. 
power lines running up and down the uh, east side of the street. And, uh, of course, we've also got excellent road frontage out here. And that's the storage facility, by the way, guys, the storage facility across the street. And as you can see, underground utilities servicing this region, servicing the home sites out here, which actually makes it a little different than the first property that I showed you, which doesn't have the underground utilities. Anyway, point being, guys, this is what this property looks like. Nice, flat, buildable piece of land. And, of course, if we go to the drone photos, this will give you uh, an excellent sense of exactly how close this property does sit to the lake and to the state road that sits right over here. Finally, guys, the third property we're going to show you. This one's located off, uh, way off in the distance, roughly about four miles from the Concho Lake. Uh, this is one of these that uh, we're going to call solar-friendly, guys, because the utilities don't extend this far out to the property. Additionally, I will tell you that the road conditions out here get a little tough the closer you get to it. So, of course, if you do want to buy this one or scout this one, take a larger truck or off-road capable vehicle. Whatever the case, guys, when we go to the photos, I will at least show you that this is kind of a large corner lot out here, or at least a large one-acre corner lot. For those of you looking for more privacy, this is probably the property for you because as noted, it is a little removed from development, et cetera, et cetera. So with all that said, guys, three new properties going live this week in Concho Valley, each a little different from the other. Should be noted, guys, that these uh, two one-acre properties that we have priced at $7,000 we're offering easy financing on. That's $3,000 down, $250 a month times 24 months if you want to pay it as slowly as humanly possible. Of course, as always, guys, we've got the 180 days same as cash. So if you do pay it off in the first six months, no more then $71.50 will be owed in total. With all that said, guys, going live on the website next week, we are back in New Mexico up in the northern part of the state with a subdivision or multiple subdivisions that everybody, everybody is very fond of. So look forward to that, guys, in next week's video. With all that said, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great weekend.